And the real question is, can I use Verizon and T-Mobile Home Internet SIM cards and put them in here and use them, or will that not be allowed? All right, I have been covering fixed wireless home internet or cellular-based home internet for a few years now, and I've been mainly using the provided gateways that Verizon and T-Mobile have been giving out to customers to use, but they have some severe limitations, especially the T-Mobile stuff. I've even taken these guys all apart and added external antennas to them and done things, but they're really limited with their functionality. Uh, Verizon has a little bit more capability and settings in there, but let's talk about getting rid of these altogether and going to something a whole nother level. This is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. It does help the channel out. And so this here is a Peplink device. So Peplink is well known for their networking stuff as well as their cellular based stuff. They have all kinds of devices. This one specifically is a Peplink Balance 20X. And this device has been out for a few years, but they actually did an update in 2022 for it and the main part of that is the built-in cellular modem that it has in there. Now on the back side it also has a small switch here with a WAN port and four LAN ports that are all uh, gigabit ethernet connections there. And then you'll notice it has several of these little SMA connectors that are on there and those are for the antennas that are both for cellular and Wi-Fi. So it's a Wi-Fi router and it also has lots of other features that you really can't touch with any of the provided home uh, internet uh, cellular gateways that are provided and it even beats out you know basically all the hotspots so if you um, have a hotspot you know and go on mobile use they don't have nearly as many features that this has and so that's really what this is all about is getting those features and I'm going to show you one other device that you really want to add uh, to this to really get full capability out of it and that goes into this thing they call a flex module mini slot so this is like a expansion slot that you can add different things and they have lots of options one of them is like a, um, a DSL slot one some different level of 4G LTE uh, cellular modems and um, this one here is a 5G flex module so I'll talk about that in a second but let me talk about why you might want to get this guy and use it for your cellular based home internet and that's even if you don't rely on cellular based home internet for your main if that's a backup that is really one of the strong suits actually of this as well is that you can have multiple WAN connections so multiple ISPs and it's even part of their um, they call it prime care and it is a annual subscription but it's pretty cheap I think it's 50 bucks a year and one of the things that it does allow is something they call speed bonding and so that allows you to truly bond and aggregate the um, different WANs that you have and actually get you know the combined speed of them so that's a really neat feature that they do offer and so on here like I said on the back side there is a WAN port so this would go into if you have cable internet or if you have fiber internet or even if you plugged it into say Starlink internet you know that could be your main or primary or it could be your secondary they even have a option to turn one of these LAN ports into another WAN port right so you could have two hardwired WANs in there and then it has a built-in cat 7 cellular modem and so that's one of the updates in this 2022 version of the balance 20x is before I think it was a cat 4 so the modem, which really is pretty um, outdated nowadays, and it really, the Cat4 would limit the number of uh, bands that were available in there for your speed and your throughput that you could get with it, where you really wouldn't use that in today's um, world for your main uh, internet connection. But now they've updated to a Cat7, that basically gives you a majority of the uh, 4G LTE common bands that are out there for AT&T, T-Mobile, um, and, and Verizon that are there. So this has two redundant uh, SIM cards. So you have like a failover there. If, if one of the SIMs were to, were to fail, it can switch to the other one. So that's what's built in. But if you want 5G capability and you want things like the C-band, that's where you really have to go and add this 5G module that, uh, that slides into here. And so what this gives you is, you can see now this one has four, of the external antenna connection now it does come with 
uh, these little small antennas but you can also hook it up to waveforms external antennas or, or other antennas out there but so I have a waveform 4x4 MIMO antenna so I can hook this up to that and then in fact the own internal um, SIM cards use a 2x2 two two, uh, antenna ports here so I have a waveform 2x2 two two antenna so I can actually hook up the 2x2 two two to here uh, to one SIM and then I can hook up the 4x4 four four to this 5G flex module and those would be running off different SIMs um, and I happen to have five <laughs> of of these um, home internet devices so I have five SIMs that I can actually use and I can connect those into here and use all of them in parallel so I can do the speed bonding or I can use them as a failover and the key thing here is this is I actually have failover set up on my Asus router but it's not a hot failover so what it means is for that one where I'm set up today is if I lose a connection my home drops out for about a minute a minute and a half before it does a switch over this is a seamless switch over you won't even notice it on the network that you switch from one device to the other device for your for your WAN connection so that's one of the the strong suits of this type of level this is not home grade um, this is small business branch grade it's not full enterprise but certainly has a lot of features in there that you can't even um, imagine from um, like a T-Mobile um, gateway. So the other thing I will point out here is that it has another method to actually get a WAN and that is these USB ports. So a lot of either hotspots or other uh, cellular based um, gateways have a USB connection and you can plug that in and it will use that as another WAN. So if I count that up there is one, two, three, Four, and then you can add that other um, WAN option in the in as a well, LAN as WAN. So that's like five different WAN connections that I can think of that you can get with this device, and that's really where you now the flexibility and capability, and you're able to um, you know pick and choose if you're going to combine those or if you're going to do failovers or whatnot in there. So let's talk about a little bit what it comes. I did lay out here. Um, kind of what it comes with this 5G flex module just itself and it's four um, small antennas here and then it does come with a little bit of this velcro tape for cable management um, the balance 20x itself comes with the AC adapter it comes with two Wi-Fi antennas and so this Wi-Fi that's built in is a Wi-Fi 5 so that's AC Wi-Fi it is um, MIMO uh, it's not Wi-Fi 6, but um, this is probably um, sufficient for most people's needs today. And then it comes with a GPS antenna, and I think it's like a six-foot um, lead there that it comes um, with for getting a GPS signal uh, for this guy if you need it. And then it also comes with a little cable management Velcro. So there's not a lot there. It did come with this. This is the only documentation it comes with in the box, and it basically just says... Um, you know, plug it in to power, plug it into um, your computer, and then to make sure you use the cellular antennas on the cellular ports and the Wi-Fi antennas on the Wi-Fi ports. Um, and then it has a login for um, going in and actually doing the configuration of that. That login information is right here on the bottom sticker with the default uh, login being admin and the password also being admin, but then you have to change it as soon as you log into it. So I won't go into the step-by-step -step of setting that up right now. I'm just talking about the features, but certainly I'm going to have more videos here where I am going to test this out. And the real question is, can I use Verizon and T-Mobile Home Internet SIM cards and put them in here and use them, or will that not be allowed? So uh, I think I know what um, the answer is, and I'm excited to uh, show that in uh, capability and features to you guys. So be sure to stay tuned and watch that. All right, so for this Flex Module Mini, this um, plate just has four little screws that pop out, and then it opens up the port. You can see on the back side of the module it has the connection, and this just simply slides in uh, straight back in there, and it pops in, and then you put these four screws back in. And then behind this connection right here is the actual SIM card slot. So again, this Flex Module actually has redundant SIM card slots so that um, you're extra protected there on your connection 
So, and then it also has lights here that show you for your cellular connection. Green means it's connected. Red would mean that it has an issue. And um, that's how you can stay up to date with the status. So that's for the 5G one. On this back side, or I guess the front side, the other side, it has lights here. And that cellular one is for the built-in um, cellular connection that's, that's on it. All right, so here is the unit put together with the supplied antennas on there. And again, these ones up front are the built-in cellular. The ones in the back uh, corners are the built-in Wi-Fi. And then the Flex Module Mini 5G has these four right here for their 4x4 MIMO setup um, that's built in. But I am going to use Waveform's um, external antennas actually to hook up to this uh, once I get it all uh, working here with my services. So um, the one thing I will comment about is the pricing. Now, this is a little bit of a um, you know unique device out there. It is a um, not a hotspot and it's more of a combined router, firewall, business service, uh, as well as the cellular um, gateway setup in there. And it comes in at less than $600 for the actual Balance 20X itself, which is very comparable to a 5G hotspot. The only downside is that you do have to spend more money to get the 5G Flex Module Mini, and that adds another $700. To it so that actually this flex module expansion is actually more expensive than the balance 20x itself but that is really needed in order to get this full capability and i'm really excited to see how much throughput i can get and all the features that are out there so i will be covering that in more videos to go um, coming up so stay tuned and get ready to be amazed and now as always if you have some questions that are just burning and you want to ask them please put them in the comments below. I read those and I will try to answer them either in the comments or with another video that will be coming out. And if you have experience with this and you have comments about what you've seen yourself, please add that down below and that helps other people that are watching as well. So uh, don't be afraid to go in there and type some comments in.